Hi everyone, I am Vincent T, your KUKA expert. In the last video, we did show you the unboxing of the KRC5 microcontroller and the KUKA KR SCARA robot. And today, we are going to power up both of these to show you how it will look like in action. This is the new launch KRC5 microcontroller and this one is our new KR SCARA robot and this is also the brand new SmartPad 2 As you can see from the previous video, we did introduce you the UPS battery which one UPS battery can support up to three controllers and it will be connected outside of the controllers So now I would like to show you how all these cables will be connected and then we will power up the whole set to show you how it will look like I would like to introduce you this is the on off button to turn on and turn off the controller and the next one I will connect this incoming power cable to here and I would like to connect this UPS battery cable to here now we would like to show you how do we connect all the cables first we will connect this motor and brake cable so you can see there is a label and marking on each cable because this cable is separated for axis 1 to 3 and another one is axis 4 to 6 so both cables are connected and the next one, I would like to connect the data cable Alright, just lock it and this cable is well connected And the next one, we will connect the new SmartPad 2 And the connector is exactly the same like previously, the KRC4 Look at the dot here And they will be facing up So just plug in like this Alright after showing you how we make the connection, now we will first move our controller and the UPS battery to the bottom of my cabinet so that we can show you the functionality of the KR SCARA robot. We have made a sample program to show you the maximum reachability of this robot. The model of this robot is KR6 R700 Z200 with the reachability of 700mm. So we can see the sample program is to show you the working envelope of this robot and the maximum reachability. This robot can move from minus 60 to plus 60 for the axis 1 and minus 145 to positive 145 for axis 2. Combination of these two axes can make this maximum of the reachability and the biggest of working envelope Okay, in last video, we have described that this robot can have a really short cycle time up to 0.38 seconds So now, I would like to test this robot with the real speed for you With this smart pad, I can adjust the robot to run At first, I will make it at 10% speed so as you can see, now the robot is running in 10% Can I make it 30%? It's still really good What about 50%? It's still fine Can I make it 75 now? And let's make it 100% I would like to show you each axis separately The first axis I would like to show you is the A1 So as you can see, this is the A1 which is the axis 1 And I'm going to show you A2 which is the axis 2 Okay And then I would like to show you the A3 The up and down is the axis 3 and the last one, axis 4, is the rotating axis Alright, as you can see, 
I have only spent less than 30 minutes to set up this robot, including all the cable connection and make a simple program for this robot to run. If you are interested on this buddy, don't hesitate to contact us for more detailed information. That's all for our video today. As always, please like us, share this video and subscribe our channel. See you again in our office. Bye. Industrial Intelligence